here, we'll get it done, but it's not going to be simple. It's interesting. Dr. Gupta just made the same point about the refrigeration and how hard that's going to be logistically. Um, Dr. Osterholm, I know you were just named to this advisory panel. You said you all haven't had a chance to really uh, meet and get yeah. through your ideas yet and what it might look like under a Biden administration. But you are one of the leading voices on this. You have been warning us accurately about this for months and months and months about where it's headed. Can you see a scenario around the corner, perhaps in this winter, where there is some form of a national lockdown, maybe like one that we're seeing in Europe, where the schools stay open yeah. or some form of a lockdown if this gets bad enough? Well, first of all, if you interview 50 people, you can get 75 different definitions of what a lockdown is. Yeah. Okay, so let's just be clear. I don't think anybody knows what they're talking about when they talk about a lockdown, myself included. In the first week of August, Neil Kashkari, the president of the Minneapolis Federal Reserve Bank, and I wrote an op-ed piece in the New York Times that basically said we need to, in a sense, lock down to drive this infection level to a, a, a place where we can actually control it with testing and tracing and follow up that way, just like the Asian countries have done. And, and I'm talking about everything from Australia to New Zealand, all the way right up uh, through China, Japan. All of those countries have done it already. And what it would take, however, though, is to really to deal with the pain and suffering economically is what we basically proposed was because the savings rate in this country has gone out of the roof since the pandemic. We've gone from 8% to over 22%. We could borrow the money from ourselves at a historically low interest rates. We could pay people who lose, lose their jobs. We can pay small business. We can take care of city, state, and county governments. If we just elected to do that, if Washington could get together and make that happen, that would be a very different kind of lockdown where people wouldn't suffer and we could get this virus under control. Anybody, and, and the media did this after the election when they had polling data on did you vote for the coronavirus or did you vote for the economy? They're not different. If we're a raging house on fire with coronavirus in this country, our economy is not going to do well. Hmm. So we've got to understand we have a way to do it. We just have elected not to do it yet. Uh, basically what I call pay to prevail. All right, Dr. Michael Osterholm, thank you so much once again uh, for being on with us and giving us comments.